Hi everybody, this is Sarah, and this video is gonna show you how to test an idea for your e-course very free, or very quickly, and for absolutely free, if you already have a website, or for a very small amount of money if you wanna start building one. So, first of all, why would you wanna test your idea? Well, why would you wanna create an e-course if you didn't know you could sell it? You know. It takes a long time to create one, so you want to see if there's a market for it before you create it. And also, you can pre-sell it and start earning money right away. So, step one is to choose your topic. I'm going to give you some advice. The nichier your topic, the better. So you want to have a narrow focus. For example, how to grow tomatoes versus how to plant a garden. Step two, create a sales page for your course. Yeah, that's right. You're going to pre-sell the idea for a course before you even create it. I did this with my e-course earners course when it was about halfway done. I started it in January. I put the sales page up before I finished the course. And when I saw sales rolling in, it motivated me to finish the course. So... How can you put it, how can you create a sales page on your website? Check your email for a few tips from my magical sales letter formula. The full formula is included in the eCourse Earners course, but I'm going to share with you a few tips so that you can write a compelling sales page. If you're watching this on YouTube, grab yours for free at eCourseEarners.com. Step three. On your sales page, you want to make sure you let people know when they can expect to receive your course at some point in the future. This is going to give you time to create it. So, for example, enroll, you would put this at the bottom. Enroll now. The course begins whatever date you decide. I would say give yourself two months in advance, one month if you are like me and you like to get stuff done. Then you can add PayPal buttons, and I show you exactly how to do this in eCourse Earners. Step four, share your sales page with your friends, share it on social media, in an email, basically mark it and let people know that you're creating this. A good way to do this is to say, hey, so-and-so, I'm creating an eCourse about blank. It helps people do blank. Do you know anyone who would be interested? This takes the pressure off your friend, and if they're personally not interested, they will think about who they know that it would be a good fit for. So basically, you have to let people know that you exist, and I show you exactly how to market your course with my own eCourse Earners course. Step five, repeat step four. Marketing is something that you do over and over again, not just once. So if nobody is interested, that doesn't mean nobody on earth will buy your e-course. You may need to tweak something or narrow your topic. And this is something that I help my students with all the time. You may need to ask, why not? Ask people if you told your friends about it and they were like, meh, ask them for feedback and be like, hey, what would make you interested? What could I change? Do you have any suggestions? This is basically market research. If people are interested, start creating your course. That means you've struck gold. So if you need guidance and want a full step-by-step -step process on how to create, market, and sell your own e-course, you'll love e the e-course earners course over at ecourseearners.com. It basically shows you how to create and sell your own e-course so that you can earn money right away and still enjoy a lot of free time doing the fun things that you love so that you don't have to work harder. Again, thanks for watching, and I'm Sarah over at eCourseSerters.com.